has the scale that we need, you know, because we've got six people running, doing all their free running, doing all their Kong vaults and all the rest of it, so we actually need something with scale, with size, and which will allow us to do what we actually need to do. Size is the main issue in this project, and uh, we was cut uh, all the shapes by um, computer router. For us, this commercial was well, it's very, um, very exciting because it's all all revolving, uh, all revolving around our product. Everything is happening inside the inside the watch. Well, the design of the watches, you can see it behind us. Actually, this is an exact replication. The product is a beautiful product, plastic chronograph, and one of our core essence is the freedom. Hence, free running was an obvious choice for us. Having more like the muscles coming out or the lines of the of the um, bones, and I think that's a good, it's a cool way. It's really dynamic and futuristic, so fit it to the watches. My name is Easy and I'm the choreographer. I'm Sticky, I'm a free runner. Easy now, live right here, free runner. Yeah, I'm Neil, free runner. Pip Anderson, free runner. Bam, free runner. Hi, my name is Michelle. Slightly slower behind him. Jumps from here to a cat. So from here to a cat. Up onto this, up onto the top. There's a more of like a jump to cat. We're better off doing a 360. You do something, you can jump off, bounce off the other side. Okay, actually, you know after you do your backflip, or your tic tac. Just kind of mapped out what we were actually looking at, what we're looking at doing over you know, the next two days, and how we're going to light it as well. So we've been setting up our lights, adding this kind of slightly golden sheen to everything, and uh, yeah, it's kind of just want to shoot the thing. Now. My name is uh, Matthias Montero and uh, I'm the director of photography. I'm from Sweden, Stockholm, best place on earth. <laughs> um, this shot and this shot is practically oh, the same yeah. shot. That's the tight shot. We are, we are okay. looking that face of We're looking that way, yeah. So let's look this way now. It's quite uh, t uh, grateful to work for a director like him because he really knows what he wants. Do in these situations is shoot everybody individually doing their move and then I'll map them all in together afterwards 
and then we'll pull back out when we should be able to go. Looking back at it, and then you're then when you're jumping, it's literally like that's it. Yeah, really concentrate, really focus. Tight, tight. That's it. Like you're really gonna go. Ah, that's good, good, good. Looking ahead, looking ahead. Ah, and then you jump. Ah. The camera, this, this is like four or five kilos, and the camera is like one and a half, two kilos. Yeah, it's just like a really nice, it's like a just, it doesn't really make sense. Yeah, so I think it's just a really good image though. We've got, we've got it the other way. That's just a really good image. Jump down. And the second hand sweeps overhead this way. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, that means that's a wrap. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hello. Tiring, exhausting, good, fun. Yeah, really well. Really good. Really. Just want to go to sleep. No, I want to have a beer and then go to sleep. Maybe two beers. The whole, that, the whole spirit of the shoot was very, uh, very much like the spirit at Swatch. It's uh, hard work, but a lot of fun. If we have any moves or if you want to replace anything, these uh, will give you, uh, these actually provide tracking marks. Because what Glenn has to do here is he has to separate this and create a whole new texture for the thing and then put that on and the tracking marks will help. If there are any camera movements or if there's any sort of film movement or anything, it will just help him stabilise the image and put what he does in 2D on top of that. This is all entirely 3G, all of this. Basically we just sit here and scrutinise every aspect of the frame, we'll look at that and think that looks... What we've done is we've added a little bit of a fogging effect so that this building looks like it's much further away. So this is what he's been doing, so he's been cutting, cutting Pip out who is doing this um, side somersault and then he will take Pip and he will stick it onto our real and CG environment which is here. And this is, this is a shot that we've worked on quite a bit, so this gives you a better idea of how it's actually going to look. This is, this is how it was in reality, without any movement whatsoever. Action! Sam here, he's working on the shot 35, which is the shot where the guy hangs on the second hand and try, pulls him up, pulls himself up a bit and then jumps onto the final building, which is the, the one of the 12. So we only shot like a green screen plate of him, which means that the whole background will be recreated in 3D. So we're going to animate like a second hand arm, which we then comp the guy onto. At this stage, we're sort of at a previous stage, trying to get the camera angle right. We actually shot uh, a real plate on the set in Prague, which is a sort of pan of the camera behind these guys and we're kind of using these two guys to do a sort of a wipe into the full CG shot. So everything that you see on the right here will be the live action plate that they shot and everything you see on the left here will be a fully 3D environment.